Hi, Tyra. I'm Ross. I uh, hope we can help you with this problem. Um, so this type of problem, a lot of times when you're doing a line of best fit, it can be kind of complicated, but this one's actually pretty straightforward. So when you do a problem like this, when you have values in a table, so you have X's and Y's and you want to come up with a line, one thing that you can hope for is that uh, you have a linear function, which means the rate of change is constant. And one way you can check for that, remember that the slope, the rate of change, same thing, is equal to the change in Y over the change in X. Or a lot of times you see that written as Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. And so these top numbers here are our X's, the bottoms are our Y's, because the top is independent, uh, that's the number of days, and the bottom is how much money it will cost. Um, and so we can check the slope for example, over the first couple days. And the way you do that is you take the second y, 80, minus the first y, which is 50, just following that formula, over two minus one. And on top, that's gonna be 30 over one on bottom. So that's just gonna be 30. And what that means is over the course of that day, right, adding one more day, you would have to pay $30 more. So $30 for each day. Now, before we just assume that's going to stay the same, right? Every single day is another $30. We should check to see if that continues. From 80 to 10, right? That's another $30. And 2 to 3, that's one day. So that checks out. 110 to 40 is $30 over one more day. Now, next, it may get a little trickier. You may think, uh-oh, 140 to 230. If you subtract, that's $90. But that's not $90 for one day because look up top. That's from four days to seven days. So that's a total of three days. So again, if you check using the slope formula, we did that subtraction, 230 minus 140 over seven minus four. That's going to be $90 over three days, which ends up being $30 each day. So all they're doing here is they're kind of skipping over some days and trying to catch you up but it's still actually the same slope. They're just skipping from four days to seven days. The same thing happens here from seven to 10. That's three days and 230 to 320, that's $90, but that's still gonna come out to $30 a day. So all of that to say, you're in luck because through the whole table, your slope is the same. The whole way through, it's $30 every day. So remember that now that we know it's constant, we know it's gonna be a linear equation and we want an equation of a line anyway, the easiest, I think the easiest form to write that kind of equation in is y equals mx plus b, that slope intercept form, where m is that slope, which we just found, and b is the y intercept, which is where the line crosses the y axis. So, first of all, we already know one of those. We know the slope. So, I'm going to have to, uh, I'm going to go ahead and plug that in. So, y equals our slope is 30 and then x stays x, and then plus. The only thing we don't know is the y-intercept. You probably remember that a y-intercept, again, because it's on the y-axis, one thing we always know is that the x value has to be zero. No matter what the y value is, the x value has to be zero. That's the only way it stays on the x-axis, or y-axis, is if we don't go left or right at all. So, if I only knew, I'm going to go back up here to this table, I have x values of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 1, 2, 3, 4. If I only knew for x equals 0, if I only knew what this y value was, I would have my y-intercept. Well, if we just think about this uh, pattern we have where we're adding $30 every day, to get back to 0 days, that means we would have to pay... $20, right? Subtract 30, and you'd have 20 here for zero days. And if you're starting to think, wait a second, why would I pay $20 for zero days if I didn't even take the car? In this case, that would just represent that no matter how much you drive, you have to pay $20 to take the car, period. So you pay $20, they give you the car, and then every day that you have it, you have to pay an extra 30. So if for some reason you rented the car and were like, actually, never mind, I don't want it, you'd still have to pay 20 bucks just for the whole process. Anyway, so now that we know 
that our y value is 20, that means that the y-intercept here is just going to be 20. And there's other ways you can go about finding the y-intercept, but in this case, it, since it's easy, we can just back up and, and find it that way. Now, going back to your problem, we want to use, so this is going to be our line of best fit, um, and it will actually go through all of those points because the uh, uh, slope is constant. Now we want to use that to figure out what's the cost of renting for 20 days. Well, remember that the days, that's up here in our x row. So all we have to do is take our equation and put y equals, and we're going to plug in 20 for that x and see what we get for the y. So we have 30 times 20, which is 600, plus 20, and that's going to get... 620, which is D. So that's a super common type of problem. It has a lot going on, a lot of different skills in there. I hope that's helpful, and I hope it helps you to tackle additional problems like that in the future.